वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल अ डिजास्टर सीजन फॉर द फाइव टाइम आई पी एल चैंपियंस मुंबई इंडियंस लूजिंग स्ट्रीक कंटिन्यूज एज दे लॉस देयर एथ मैच अगेंस्ट लखनऊ सुपर जॉइंट बाई थर्टी सिक्स रन लास्ट नाइट विच मीन्स विच मीन्स मुंबई इंडियंस आर नाउ ऑफिशियली आउट ऑफ आई पी एल टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी टू Mumbai Indians are famously called as slow starters. Every season they go down at the start of the tournament only to rise up later on. Back in 2014 they lost all th- they lost all their first 5 matches sorry. They lost their first 5 matches and then ended up qualifying for the playoffs. However, this season hasn't been the one that they were looking for as they become the first team to lose first 8 matches in IPL history. I still remember how some of us told that Mumbai Indians have home advantage cuz all the league matches will be held in Maharashtra. But sadly, Mumbai Indians have proved us wrong by losing 8 matches out of their 8 matches. So, what what is that main issue that went wrong with Mumbai Indians this season? I don't think Mumbai Indians are playing with any kind of strategy. They are repeating their mistakes over and over again. Uh losing wickets, losing wickets in middle overs, giving away easy runs in death overs and moreover they don't even seem they don't even seem like as if they are putting effort to win the game. Like uh like some of their five matches they have played so far uh, which were against Delhi Delhi, Rajasthan, Punjab, Lucknow, and Chennai Super Kings. You know they could have easily won this game, but somehow they messed up the match, and now here they are with eight consecutive defeats. According to me, I think Mumbai Indians lost it in mega auction itself, spending 15.25 crore uh, on a young talent, Ishan Kishan, who has lots of weakness, and then spending eight crores on someone who is not available for the rest of the season. That is Jofra Archer, and then not picking Trent Bolt, who was the core part of base attack for Mumbai Indians. So. Yeah, one of the reasons should be uh, picking picking up wrong players in mega auction this year. Coming to the openers, openers are continuously failing to fire up the start. Uh, Rohit Sharma is not able to convert. convert good starts into big scores ishan kishan has failed to fit into the role according to team's requirement seems like he needs a break or maybe they can send him down the order like a middle order batter which means uh, rohit sharma will open with tilak varma and then surya kumar yadav in at 3 ishan kishan in at 4 devol brevis in at 5 and so on or maybe they can go with the players who have been warming up the bench so far in this tournament coming to the bowling bowling has been one of the biggest disappointments since the start of this season uh, there's lack of sting in the bowling and seems like this is one of the weakest bowling department that mumbai indians has ever produced Jasprit Bumrah looks pale seems like he isn't getting much support from the bowling department uh, they have lost all of their matches and most of them are due to their death over bowling and they don't even have a good quality spinner in their side this time so yeah it was an utter fail in team selection for Mumbai Indians in this year's mega IPL auction to be honest i think mumbai indians lack characters this year the only player who is showing some intent is young tilak varma who is consistently scoring runs for his team and yeah even surya kumar yadav even he has been quite consistent but you know you can't expect him to perform in every matches so yeah some serious rethinking is needed from mumbai indians management to break this cycle of defeats since they are done and dusted this season they can go with other players who have been warming up the bench so far like mayank markande tim david or maybe junior tendulkar in some of the upcoming matches and now that mumbai indians are officially out of race for playoffs uh, the only intention for them would be to register their first victory in this ipl edition out of 9 teams to play 
in this IPL season. Mumbai Indians has already lost to seven teams so far. They have two more teams to play with. That is Gujarat Titans and Sunrisers Hyderabad. Gujarat Titans have been so consistent. Uh, yes, they have lost one match, and that one match they have lost against Sunrisers Hyderabad. Sunrisers Hyderabad didn't had a good start in this IPL season. They lost two back-to-back -back matches in the beginning, but then after that they have they have been unstoppable. They have won back to back five matches so basically both are unstoppable they are they are having the winning momentum so it's really going to be another tough challenge for mumbai indians to play against these both teams anyway mumbai indians will play their next match against rajasthan royals at dy patel stadium on 30th of april saturday at 7:30 pm that too on rohit sharma's birthday so can we see a welcome victory coming for mumbai indians on skipper's special day what are your thoughts guys do drop down in the comment box see you in my next video uh, it's me gliona here signing off for now bye bye